Hello, fire signs. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. How are you guys doing today? This is a general reading focused on a timeless message that will be coming through here today. So whenever you are guided to tune in and watch this video, if it happens to resonate with you, take from it what makes sense for your situation, your life, your relationship, and release what doesn't make sense for you. If you are interested in your own personal private reading, as always, all of that information is down below in the description box, and I'll have a list of all of the card decks that I do use for any given reading. So this is for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All right, guys, as you can see, I've got two card decks in front of me. This is what we're going to be using for the focus messages today, focused on divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy. And since it is strictly energy that we're focusing on for this reading, even though it says divine masculine, it could be for both male or female and vice versa. So take it for how it makes sense for you. And let's take a look and see what messages you're able to tap into here for this reading. All right, guys, let's take a look. Divine masculine energy for my fire signs. What's going on? Let's take a look and see. Angels and spirit guides for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius for this timeless reading. What's going on with the Divine Masculine at this time, please? For the purposes of this reading, though, guys, Divine Masculine, I will, I typically do say he, him, but of course, take it for how it resonates with you. And same for Divine Feminine. All right, what do we have? We've got planning. And look at that. We've got a soulmate connection that from the divine masculine's perspective is something that he's focused on, might have some plans that he's wanting to implement in regard to this connection. Also feeling very powerful at this time. So let's take a look and see how that plays a part in this reading. All right, so let's take a look at the divine feminine energy here for this reading for you. Angels and spirit guides for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So from the Divine Masculine, there is a soulmate connection here that they're picking up off of. Let's take a look and see how the Divine Feminine is feeling about that. Angels and Spirit Guides from my Fire Signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What's going on with the Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine Energy. Divine Feminine is feeling programmed or knows that she's programmed to think a particular way. So let's take a look and see how this plays a part in how this reading unfolds and taps into that. The Divine Feminine is in need or feeling like there's a need for a divine intervention here in regard to this soulmate connection. So possibly thinking that this might just require a miracle or a literal act of God to be able to save what's going on in this connection. But I do feel based off of what I'm picking up from the divine masculine, he's definitely feeling like he's at a seat of power to be able to create movement. You know, he's planning something to possibly fix what's broken between the two of you to create whatever changes need to be implemented. But look at this, my Divine Feminine is definitely thinking about the Divine Masculine, okay? So still very much a part of her heart space. And just sometimes when that programmed card comes through, it's somebody who's very set in their ways of how they see a situation and perhaps it's falling right below the planning card for the Divine Masculine. So maybe my Divine Masculine has some plans as to change that programming, so to speak. Okay, so we'll set these guys aside and we'll refer to them throughout the reading as needed. So let's go ahead and pull some additional cards to add to this. Let's start off with the Mystic Moon Oracles, Fire Signs, and see how this all unfolds for you. So angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. All right going on between you and your person, whoever it is that you're focused on, for fire signs. Well, they're definitely keeping tabs on you. 
checking you out from a distance and or this is something that you're both doing more than likely on social media there's a lot of admiration here between the two of you i mean the divine masculine is recognizing that this is a soulmate connection i just feel that my divine feminine is feeling the challenges more so to where she's still thinking about the divine masculine but is in that space of feeling like you know we need a miracle here to fix this Perhaps that's what's creating that stuck energy. That stalemate type energy where there's a choice that needs to be made here between the two of you. But you both have to meet each other halfway. It can't just be one person wanting to create movement here towards a reconciliation or towards fixing whatever issues you guys are dealing with. Part of the problem here might have to do with this compromise card that this may have been lacking between the two of you and i was just saying you know it's got to be an equal exchange of energy between two people and that's exactly what that compromise card is talking about two people that want to be able to work on this connection equally it can't just be one person wanting it more than the other person you both have to want this i love how we do have that muse card coming through next because this actually is all about inspiration and creativity and the potential to be able to create a different outcome or future for yourself. And since this is about a relationship, you both have the capability to pick up that paintbrush metaphorically and just paint a different outcome for your connection. If you guys are going through challenges, if you're in separation right now, if you both compromise and work together and can get onto the same page, there's a fighting chance that you guys can ultimately work through this. There are signs that are coming through for the both of you to pick up off of. It's trying to grab your attention. And these are signs that are specific to you and your person. And when you see it, you'll know it's meant just for you, specific to just the two of you and your connection. Part of what may have driven you guys into separation might have something to do with this next card, which is deception. So dishonesty might have something to do with third parties, a karmic partner, somebody just not telling the truth or being truthful, either with you or this is you towards them. Somebody was being deceptive in this connection and that's what's keeping you guys stuck, I feel, because it might take time to be able to forgive the other, to get past the hurt, however way it played itself out in the relationship. And so what I'm feeling here because of the distance, somebody's checking the other person out from a distance, again, more than likely on social media. But we do have the potential for a fresh start here between the two of you. You know, and sometimes when we go through a difficult period in our relationship, it's hard for us to even imagine starting over with somebody when we've experienced something so painful. And so maybe you're in a space where you're a little bit unsure whether you want to pursue or continue to work on the partnership that's why you guys are stuck because you need to be able to work together on getting yourselves unstuck okay so let's add to this and let's see where else this is gonna go this is a brand new deck that I was gifted by Amy from Calico Moon Oracle so she was nice enough to give me three of her beautiful card decks and this is one of them so if you're familiar with her channel you'll know that she's awesome and she's got readings that she does as well and if you're interested in purchasing her card decks definitely check out her channel i believe that information should be available there all right so let's take a look and see here angels and spirit guides for leo aries and sagittarius what else do we need to know please for this timeless reading for my fire signs what else do we need to know? 
I kind of feel though that you guys are keeping tabs still on one another, even though you're in separation. Soul level. That is where you guys connect. And that's why I feel, especially from my divine masculines, they, they do recognize that this is a very special connection. You guys have definitely had your fair share of challenges, which is why you guys are stuck. There was deception that contributed to the demise of your relationship. But I feel if you want to start over, you can. You certainly have cards here that are supporting the opportunity to be able to work on this partnership. And this is confirmation here. Somebody was being unfaithful. And look at this next card. You guys do have history together, that's for sure. This next card is very interesting as well. Accidental love. So it's one of those connections where maybe you guys met somebody randomly and you weren't even expecting to fall for this person. And it ended up creating a third party situation to where somebody was unfaithful here. But here's another card talking about new beginnings. So we have two cards here telling you that despite what happened in the connection, you can actually start over and allow growth back into your relationship if that's something that you both want. There is a need for compromise between the two of you. And maybe that's why my Divine Feminine is feeling like, you know, this has hurt so badly that we need a miracle here. We need that divine intervention to be able to save this relationship. Well, you might just get that. For some of you, you might actually be able to work on this to the point where it feels like you receive that divine intervention to bring you towards a new chapter with your person. Part of the reason why that is, is because they still love you and you still love them. And when somebody has a broken heart as a result of a partner who was unfaithful, especially knowing how much you love and care for this person, it just hurts a billion times worse, you know? So it's going to take time for that pain to phase out and to be able to handle the situation and how it all played itself out. But if you guys want to start over fresh, you can. Some of you guys have really invested quite a good chunk of your life on this person. You know, there is history here. And so it's that history that's possibly preventing you from just throwing it all away because you've invested so much of your time on this person and or they have as well, or you both have. We do have dancing through my dreams. So you guys might still be dreaming about each other. Still thinking about each other. There's still love here between the two of you. We do have vows here for some of you that are willing to start fresh and start over. Perhaps by reconnecting, you guys might actually escalate this connection to the point where you're either proposing to this person or you receive a proposal of marriage. Or this is representing the next chapter of your love story with this person. Building a life together long term. But yeah, look at this next card here, guys. It's confirming that somebody is spying, checking the other person out from a distance. And since we have two cards here talking about the same thing, I feel that you're both possibly doing this. Look at that next card. Be mine. They still want you, and I feel you still want them. So, yes, there are hurt feelings here as a result of deception and somebody being unfaithful. This accidental love. So, I'm feeling whoever got into that situation where they stepped out on a relationship, it's something that they weren't expecting to develop the way it did. But, you know, it's in the past, I feel, and there's nothing we can do about 
the past. It is what it is and that's where it belongs. All you can do at this point is to move forward from that experience and to learn from it. But the love is still here between the two of you. And you guys are definitely still keeping tabs on one another. All right. So let's add to this with some Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. Angels and Spirit Guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Fire Signs. What else do we need to know at this time? In regard to this connection, please. What else do we need to know for Fire Signs, please? For this timeless reading. All right, we've got the Page of Wands. That is fire energy. That's your own vibration there. Some exciting news coming your way. Somebody's still curious about what's going on with you, and that's why they're checking you out from a distance. Beautiful card coming next. You've got the star blessing this reading, guys. There is a universal alignment that's happening here that does tap into Aquarius energy typically. So there's still hope here. That's a part of the energy of the star is that there is still hope here. You got to have faith, but it, it does bring peace into a situation. It does bring healing over something painful that's occurred here. Let me set that aside so you guys can see. It's a wish come true. Basically, the star card represents a wish come true. And isn't it interesting how from the divine feminine, we've got a divine intervention, the divine feminine feeling that this is an impossible situation and that's exactly what's needed in order to fix this, to possibly save it. Well, the star card makes an impossible situation possible. At the end of the day, this represents a strong love between two people. And that's already coming through here. I love you. And the color red is representative of deep passion and love between two people. So reach for the stars when it comes to this connection. I do feel that it is worth working on and things will ultimately work out better than it might seem that the direction it's going at the moment is it's not going well maybe but give it some time guys because there's healing that needs to happen here things might still be a little bit raw between you and this person and you guys just need time to heal from it and if part of that healing process is if it needs to happen while you guys are in separation then do that so that you can come back together as two better people and realize that you both need to want this equally in order for this to work. And I feel that you guys can get there. We also have the three of wands here, which is more fire. That's your own energy there. And it says awaiting results. The three of wands is all about preparation and foresight. The threes in tarot tap into communication and I feel Part of what you're waiting for here is to hear from the other person, to see what the next chapter of this connection can take you. And I feel if you just hang in there and focus on a positive outlook, you guys can work this out. I really feel here, feel here that there's Strong love between two people that aren't ready to walk away from this fully. Yes, there might be distance. There might even be a physical separation here. But what I'm feeling energetically in your heart space, the love hasn't gone anywhere. The divine masculine is still feeling that soulmate connection. The divine feminine still very much in her heart space over the divine masculine. So there's a lot of hurt feelings that are circulating here. But I really feel my divine masculines are getting ready to create movement here. It's just going to take some time. But it is going to happen, I feel. We've got two cards representing a new beginning, a new chapter for the both of you. 
And here we are with more fire energy, a passionate adventure from the Knight of Wands. And this night is full of energy, full of passion. It's all about lust and adventure. Sexually speaking, you guys might have really connected and it was very passionate. Very steamy between the two of you. More fire. Five of Wands. Conflict and competition. So that is tied into that deception card. It's also reflected off of the unfaithful card because I feel that for those of you resonating with this you did feel like you were in competition for somebody else or with someone else vying for your person's attention and heart because there was a third party that was interfering in your connection but not only are you being blessed with the star guys you now have the sun on your side as well which is all about illumination and growth and you've already got that growth represented through that fresh start, that new beginning that has the capability of coming in for the both of you. So it's not over here. I don't feel that it's over by any means. The sun is more fire. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, you guys have your energies all intertwined in these tarot cards here. This is all about success, joy, and happiness. And yes, it is the most positive card in tarot, and it's coming through here for you. This is a time that is picking up off of your magnetism. So whatever it is that you're focused on, you're like a magnet at this point, and focus on your person coming back to you. And I feel it's just a matter of time before you guys can work this out. It does result in unions and mergers and marriages. So again, you know, we already have this vows card coming through here, falling right below that fresh start card. So I feel for those of you resonating with this, there might just be a proposal of marriage coming in for some of you guys. That's your next chapter with this person. You know, at the end of the day, they don't want to lose you the love is still there for you and perhaps this whole situation of deception and somebody being unfaithful at the end of the day it might just be a blessing in disguise for two people to come to the realization that you're willing to fight for the person that you want to be with and spend your life with but yeah the sun brings illumination into a situation that may have been in the dark this gives you the clarity that you need to be able to see things clearly and know what it is that you need to do moving forward to create that success, joy, and happiness and fulfillment in your life and in regards to this relationship. Okay, so let's add some Lover's Oracle to this. I mean, Lover's Oracle, no, Romance Angels, and then we'll pull some Lover's Oracle messages all right let me set these guys aside and let's continue let's see what else is coming through here so angels and spirit guides for my fire signs please leo aries sagittarius what else do we need to know guys let's take a look at that from the romance angels deck and i really do feel this experience will help you both grow into better people and appreciate each other more look at that we've got very soon so this is a time frame that the angels are bringing forward clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now if what you're wanting is manifestation of the two of you coming back together somebody needs to make that decision here whether it is you whether it's your person that you are at a distance from there will be a new beginning that is going to be a part of this equation and my divine masculines you know feeling very powerful about what it is that they're planning so i feel it could be my divine masculines that are ready to take action to reach out to the divine feminine to fix what is broken here between the two of you and to allow the healing 
to continue so that you can welcome in this new beginning and fresh start. Welcome in the energies of the star as well as the sun. They're both beautiful cards. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. We already know that. I'm picking up off of that here. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Yeah, you guys are like two magnets that just keep feeling drawn back to each other. And it's just a matter of time, I feel, before this works itself out. Confirmation. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And part of working on it is to make sure these red flags have been eliminated. Okay, whatever areas you feel you need to work on in this connection, you need to be able to work together. It goes back to that energy of that compromise card. Because at the end of the day, guys, this person is coming forward as your true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. It is that romance of a lifetime. You guys have some pretty amazing chemistry between the two of you. Just make sure you eliminate those red flags tied into third parties, karmics, or however way it's representing itself in your relationship. All right, let's add to this, guys, with the Lover's Oracle. Angels and Spirit Guides for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What else do we need to know at this time? for this timeless reading. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me grab this bottom of the deck and the card after that. Wow. All right, so here's another reference to soulmate that's already coming through from the divine masculine. That's how they feel about this connection. And this card says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. They're on their way. They are on their way, guys. I'm telling you. Next message. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Love it. And now here we come with the Twin Flame card. Twin Flames, your passion ignites. Beautiful. So however way you interpret your connection with your person whoever it is that you're focused on it could either be a soulmate it could be a twin flame or you might not even know the type of bond that you guys share it doesn't really matter at the end of the day this is telling you that whatever went down went down it's in the past we can't change that all you can do is move forward and learn from those past mistakes and just come out of it on the other side come out of this whole situation a lot stronger than when you guys were engulfed in all of the chaos that went down there's still love here between you and your person guys so leave the past in the past that's where it belongs wow all right so let's add to this with some dialogue messages this is another deck by amy from calico moon oracle this is the 5d love messages oracle deck so Focusing on your person, guys, let's take a look and see if they have the opportunity to speak up. What is it that they would want to say? And this could also be reflective off of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions at this time that you're listening to this. And a part of these cards could certainly be reflective off of what you're feeling and what you would want to say to, to your person. So take from these cards, whichever one resonates with you. We'll grab a few of them. So let's see which ones you are guided to. Let's take a look. Who needs to speak up here? Angels and spirit guides for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I knew it. See? A third reference, guys. I'm keeping tabs on you. We already picked up off of that here. And where is that other card? Hold on. It's right here. Spy. Observer. Spy. I'm keeping tabs on you. Since it's being reflected by three cards here now, this might be something that you guys are both doing during this time of separation. You really want to know what's up with your person still, and they want to know what's up with you. Part of the reason why, for some of you guys, why you are stuck at this time is possibly due to this. I don't feel like I'm good enough for you so somebody 
as a result of what they've done, entering into a third party, being unfaithful to the other. They're kind of going through some healing in their own headspace and heart space over what they've done. And it's tapping into their self-worth, their self-confidence, understandably feeling that they're just not good enough for you. For some of you guys who are not communicating, I feel like you're ignoring me. And some of you guys might. Because this situation is still healing. So it's understandable, you know, what you guys went through was very painful. Somebody who was unfaithful, somebody who was deceptive, being dishonest. And if you feel the need for distance and no communication at this time, then you got to do what you got to do, what feels right for you. But I ultimately do feel that the love is still here. You guys have some pretty amazing chemistry still coming through here. And it's telling you, give your relationship a chance. It's worth working on here. But, you know, give yourself however long you need to be in the right mind frame and how you're feeling in your heart to be able to even open up a conversation with your person. So yeah, if you're ignoring their calls or texts or whatever, they just feel like you're ignoring them. And you certainly might. And that could be reversed as well. Next message. You've never left my heart. That's because they still love you. They still feel drawn to you. And some of you guys might be going through what this card is talking about. I'm unsure of your feelings for me. And that's, again, a natural emotion to feel, especially when a relationship has been rocked by something as devastating. Someone who's cheating, stepped out on the relationship to explore another connection with someone else. So it, it will take time to bring about healing here. But going back to that compromise card, if you guys can work on this together, you guys can fix this. There's still a potential to work on this and have a new beginning and a fresh start. Look at this next card. I have never loved anyone as much as I love you. You know it. They know it. The love is still here. Okay. So if the desire is equal here, guys, and I feel for those that this is resonating with, you would want to work on the partnership and come back together with your person. All right. So let's close this out with some healing messages. Angels and spirit guides, please, for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Some final thoughts, please. Final thoughts for my fire signs for this reading. Some final thoughts, some final healing thoughts to help you heal your heart to help you both heal your heart. Beautiful. It's all about manifestation, guys. And bottom of the deck is support. So manifestation in this particular instance is manifestation of a new beginning. The ability to start over, overcome challenges, You can manifest this back into union if that's what you're focused on. This is something that you can both achieve, especially if you guys are on the same page. Also, whatever area of your life you are wanting to manifest something in, guys, whether it's tied into this connection here with your love life, it's some other 
aspect of your life that you're really wanting to bring about manifestation if it's tied into family your family life your health your job your finances whatever it is that you need manifestation in this is telling you that it's all possible and remember you're being blessed by the star and the sun card very positive vibrations there this support card for me taps into family friends that have your back it's also tied into your faith god the angels your guardian angels whoever uplifts you when you're down don't forget the people that surround you that are there for you at any given time to support you when you need it most all right guys so that's where i'm going to leave this reading what i do feel here is despite the challenges you guys can work this out you've got some pretty positive uplifting messages here to support the opportunity to start over start fresh with one another get rid of whatever red flags you guys might be dealing with and if you can meet each other halfway and compromise you guys can work through this all right so that's where i'm going to leave it i hope you guys enjoyed this reading and if you're interested in your own personal private reading at this time all of that information is down below in the description box thank you guys so much for being here and for tuning in and i will see you next time take care